Hi everybody, it's Victoria. I'm back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. We are Super Geeked where we celebrate everything we get super geeked about. If you're coming back, thank you so much. We just appreciate you being here. It is so wonderful to be able to share everything that we get super geeked about with you, but also to find out what you get super geeked about. So I've been a full-time Poshmark reseller since last summer. Since then, I have hosted two Posh and Sips. I hosted one last year. And then if you don't know, if you host, everything starts over in the next calendar year. So technically I've hosted one Posh and Sip this year. I hosted in January. My second Posh and Sip that I am hosting is going to be in March and it's Posh and Flamingo. So it's a flamingo themed Posh and Sip and we're having it at a local bookstore here in Biloxi called Southern Bound Bookshop. It is our favorite bookstore. You will hear us talk about it on our channel a lot, especially with our book hauls that Gayla does. She frequents there all the time. So I just thought it would be a good place for us to gather. Shireen, who owns Southern Bound Bookshop, is also a Poshmark reseller. She doesn't get to put a lot of time into Poshmark nowadays, only because she's running her own bookstore, but she is a seller on the platform nonetheless. And so she allowed us to have our Posh and Sip at her bookstore. So she is co-hosting with me, along with my girl Alicia over at Murray Life. You've also heard me talk about her before. And if you haven't seen her YouTube channel, go check it out. And then also my partner here at Super Geek, Gayla, she is co-hosting with me also. So if you don't know, you can sign up to host a Posh and Sip in your local area. These are the regular Posh and Sips, not the coffee Posh and Sips. They have those, those are a little bit different. These are the regular Posh and Sips. They send you a box and each milestone, your box is a little bit different. When I got my January box, it was very similar to the one that I had gotten the previous uh, year at the end of 2019 when I hosted. But unfortunately, I don't know if they were cycling through and because it was January, they didn't have the new items they were going to be putting in the boxes, but there were some items that actually got left out of the January box. So luckily we had some things left over from the last Posh and Sip. So we were able to use those and everything went wonderful. I do have a YouTube video on the last Posh and Sip I hosted. So you can check that out on our channel. I will link it below. But today I wanted to show you what came in my Poshmark Posh and Sip box. When you sign up to be a host, you get a box from Poshmark and in it are a bunch of goodies. I have popped the tape on it so that I could open it and show you. So it looks like there's some different things in this box from last time. Let me take whatever this is on top. It looks like a banner. So there is a thank you and I'll read that to you in a second. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. So my thank you card says, thank you retrospective, which is my Poshmark closet, Murray Life, which is Alicia, Jack's Girls, which is Serene at Southern Bound Bookshop, and Gayla B, which is Gayla. Way to go for hosting a Posh and Sip in your community. We can't wait to see pics and hear all about it. Love Team Posh. Congrats on hosting your second milestone. So it is my second one to host, and they gave me a Poshmark pin. So it's just like a pin back. So that's really sweet. So the big thing on top that I took off to show you the inside is actually something we've never gotten before in a box. And that is a banner that says Posh and Sip. So it's this nice little banner. That'll be great to hang outside the bookstore. Some of the things that are, are in all the boxes that we've gotten so far. So I've hosted two. This is technically my third, but my second milestone for 2020. Uh, but my girl Alicia has hosted too, so we kind of know what's coming in the boxes. But they always put these in, so we have a ton of these now between Alicia and I. And we always co-host together because it's just easy and we're both active in our local community. So we just kind of share. Okay, wrapped up in tissue paper is another item that we always get in our boxes. But they've never wrapped it in tissue paper before, so that's nice. And it's these Posh and Sip napkins. So again, we have some left over from some other Posh and Sips, so that's nice. Um, we can just sort of pull them together. Okay, another item that comes in all the Posh and Sip boxes are these Poshmark balloons. And uh, Alicia has a video from the first Posh and Sip that she hosted, and there's a funny story on there about her thinking that if you blow up balloons with your own air, <laughs> that they will float. 
<laughs> and then she realized that doesn't work. You have to have helium. But to Alicia's credit, she'll tell you in her video, she doesn't have kids, so she's never had to get balloons filled. Another thing that they always send in the box are Poshmark pins. Now they usually only send about 10, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Yeah, they sent 10. Um, Last time what I did because we had over 10 people come to the Posh and Sip was I handed them out to the first 10 people that were there. So I'll probably do the same thing this time. Although with the current climate of everything that's happening, um, I don't know what's going to happen with the Posh and Sip. If we are able to have the Posh and Sip, how many people will turn out so we may have enough this time. <laughs> Another thing that always comes in these boxes are Poshmark stickers. Now usually they have Posh and Sip stickers too. But this time they only have Poshmark stickers, but that's fine. Again, I have Posh and Sip stickers left over from last time, so I can add those to the goodie bags too, but I usually put these in the goodie bags for the ladies. Okay, and this is kind of new. So normally we have Poshmark and, and a little, um, the Posh and Sip logo with the champagne glass buttons and little buttons that say Posh and Sip, but these are actually Poshmark buttons. So that's nice because these are different. Um, and so that'll be something new that the ladies haven't gotten. All right, another thing you can expect to get in your box are these, what is Poshmark? So on the back, you put your name here so that if someone signs up from the Posh and Sip, they can use your code. You'll get $10 and they'll get $10 to spend on their first order. And so they always send these. I usually have some leftover, but it's nice because I can hand them out in the community as people um, ask about Poshmark and what I do, I can share these. And generally they always send thank you cards. These are a new design. So the last two Posh and Sips I hosted and the two that Alicia hosted had a different design. So these are a new design. So that'll be nice for the ladies. By the way, I'm saying ladies because so far we haven't had any gentlemen come and join us for Posh and Sips. All right, and I was kind of disappointed because the last couple Posh and Sip back boxes we got, uh, they did not have host badges. Uh, the first two Posh and Sips we hosted in 2019, both Alicia and I in our boxes got host badges that said our name on them, but we haven't got those in a while. So these are new. These are buttons. So the other ones we had were pins, but these are have a magnetic closure on the back. And you can write in um, Sharpie, the name of the host on there. Last time they had written our names on them for us. So they just sent four of them for our my uh, three co-hostesses and myself. So those are nice. Ooh, and I love this. I actually bought one of these from Poshmark, but these are the Poshmark uh, keychains. Uh, they're really good. I've had mine for, I don't know how many months, but um, I bought one from the Poshmark swag sale and um, mine's held up really well and I just chuck my keys wherever. So um, so the, they usually send a hostess gift for everybody who um, hosts and their co-hostesses. So they did send me four of these. So all the ladies that are co-hosting with me will get one. Sometimes they send an extra item and like the pop sockets, they sent some extra ones last time and we were able to put those in our goodie baskets. We always do a giveaway at our Posh and Sip. It's just something that Alicia started when she did the first one and we've sort of just carried, on, carried it on. I wanted to also say that we try to reuse everything that Poshmark sends us. So all of the shredded paper that comes in the box, we actually save that and put it in the goodie bags. All right, and so since it's the second milestone for me this year, my second Posh and Sip, you do get a gift just for the hostess. So they sent this box and it says Retrospectives, which is my closet name, if you didn't know that. Oh, cool. So they are these little cards that have Retrospectives printed on it. So these will be nice. I can hand these out too. It's instructions on how to install Poshmark. So it says the number one way to buy and sell fashion and more use code retrospectives at sign up for $10 off your first purchase. So thank you so much Poshmark. So that's what was in our box for our next Posh and Sip. So that was interesting. Definitely some new things in the box. I'll be really excited to see what Alicia gets in her box because she'll be hosting the next one and it'll be her second milestone for 2020. We will continue to make these videos so that you can see what happens on each milestone. I know that last year when you hit a certain milestone, the host would get $100 credit on Poshmark. 
They unfortunately did away with that in 2020, uh, probably because a lot more people are hosting Posh and Sip. So that's sort of a bummer because I would have really liked that. But um, anyway, it's okay. We're happy just to be able to get together with our community. We've built a wonderful little community of resellers here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We like to travel together and go sourcing in neighboring bigger cities. And it's just been wonderful. I've made so many great friends. We use each other for resources. We rally behind each other and just hosting a Posh and Sip is fun. You get to know other resellers. It's not as lonely as you think it is out there. There's a lot of us and you'll find people that you never probably would have ever met. And also I wanted to say, we're all a little different. I'm really shy when I first meet people. Don't be afraid to go to a Posh and Sip. Nine times out of 10, the majority of the people there are just like you. I think you'll be surprised that you will make some friends for life and you'll have a good experience. At least that's been how it is in my case. So thanks for stopping by. Again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.